sorry friends uh, some technical problem is here okay technical factors so by using this system high expectations of a consumer we need to reach the consumers customers expectations by using our technology and so social changes the social system we can adapt excellent superb system for developing out of the society by using our technology and coming to the uh, economic implications so here increase the productivity and need to spend r and d activities r and d means research and developmental activities next job becomes intellectual so by using a uh, uh, technology economics implications economies implications means to improve the performances of each and every business activity that is called as here economies not the economics not the economy economies economies means improve the performance levels improve the performance levels in our organization for each and every business activity so having the techniques and plans for improve the performance of each and every business activity is called as here economies so these are the different few activities in our organization so, so first one is here increase the productivity productivity means here produce more with minimum cost produce more with minimum cost is here productivity and next you need to spend on the r and d activities r and d activities means research and developmental activities so here research and development means these activities and conducting the survey or research conducting the survey or research is for to solve the company's problems and to achieve the company's targets so for these two things we need to prepare and we need to conduct the research or survey so that is called as here research and development research and development next uh, intellectual means here ideas abilities skills capabilities of a person so then job becomes intellectual each and every work not the job holder job so job means here works or duties become intellectual by using our technology right that is the point here job becomes intellectual next uh, problems of technical structures techno structures means technical structures so here to solve this problem we need to update our technology and also we need to improve our skills for using this type of technologies so that is the uh, problems of technical structures next increased regulations and the stiff opposition so so this is the another thing next rise and decline the products and the organizations the rise means increase the decline means the decrease so increase or decrease in the sales or increase or decrease in the profits or increase or decline decrease the products and their you know, designs and uh, all augmented products from the organization so it's uh, another economies or another business activities we need to improve the business operations and their performances towards this point right next boundaries defined the next uh, last thing is here plant level changes plant level changes so already we know plant level plant means here production land is called as here plant so here organization structures so line and line and staff we, we already discussed in the first unit so line and line organization line line and staff line line and staff these two we have the organization types structures so there we need to follow authorities and responsibilities authorities flows from top to bottom responsibilities flows from bottom to top so this type of uh, 
uh, structure we need to improve next resistance change next fear of risk so every business have the fears so just we need to avoid the fear levels e-commerce e-commerce means just we have the three types c to c c to b b to b c to c means customers to customers b to c means business to customers next b to b means business to business so here we have the three types we have in this e-commerce c to c customer to customer b to c business to customer b to b business to business this three or comes in here e-commerce next telecommunication just telecommunication means phone calling through the phone through the mobiles we can create awareness about our company in the mind of the customers next transportation transportation means inward transportation and outward transportation inward transportation means the collecting raw materials from the suppliers and transport these raw materials to the finished point uh, manufacturing point and then the second thing is here outward transportation so outward transportation means here our completion of uh, processing of uh, goods from conversion of raw materials into a finished goods then the finished goods will send to the customer's point so here that is called as outward transportation so here we have two types inward of transportation and outward transportation next markets and next technology transfers technology transfers so these are the technical factors and above slide economic factors so these are all economic factors is used for development of the economy and these are all factors we can have the benefits from these three types plant level benefits economic economies implications and social implications so these are the benefits from technology and these are the few factors for develop our financial positions or economic development of our organization so this is the ninth topic right so it is the ninth topic and coming to the last topic of our sixth unit that is feasibility study report just in this uh, unit we have totally 10 questions only the last topic feasibility study so look at here the feasibility study so here feasibility means the possibility or practicability or achievability study so possibility study simply feasibility study means simply possibility study aa pani manam cheyachcha cheyalema ani study chesthe danni manam possibility study ledha feasibility study antam so just to have a target we need to achieve that particular target so here we need to plan for some specific future course of actions or activities so if we follow those plans and activities then automatically we can achieve the target so here feasibility study means is this all activities or this all plans are practicable or not practicable these all plans and business uh, future course of actions are possible to do or not possible to do that type of study is called as here feasibility study report right so it is a very important question and from our 6th unit edana man our target set cheskoni our target reach avadaniki konni plans konni activities prepare cheskuntunnam ikkada feasibility study ante ee business activities our plans possible avutaya avva practice cheyadaniki practice cheyadaniki useful ga untunda undu dan so ee plans mana prepare chestunna plans and activities mana cheste mana target reach avutama avalema another study cheyadam feasibility study report okay so just studying and just checking each and every business activity and each and every plan to reach our targets so here we need to check these plans and activities 
or future course of actions are possible to do or not possible to do or practicable or not practicable just the studying of these things possible to do or not possible to do of these plans and activities for achieving our target this type of study is called as their feasible to study right so, okay look at here research carried out to determine whether to go ahead whether to to go ahead or not mundu kellacha elalema to go ahead with a project that is under consideration based on such factors as the marketplace the competition the availability of technology the manpower the financial performance financial levels in this finance manpower means employees the technology competition marketplaces these are the such factors so based upon these all factors we go ahead or not go ahead mana mundu kelthama elalema vitanedu mana mind lo pettukoni aalochistam so now coming to the feasibility study types so an analysis of a proposed project to determine whether it is feasible and should go ahead or not so here we have four types of feasibility studies so first one is economic feasibility study technical feasibility study operational feasibility study schedule feasibility study so here we have four types of feasibility studies so listen carefully we have the google form right so economic feasibility means economic means financially receipts and expenses manaku vache double manam pette kharchulu receipts and payments just studying here so same way here cost benefit analysis so how much cost we expenses we incurred and how much benefit we will get and the pattern and the progress so how much cost we incurred and how much benefit we will receive that type of checking or the type of analysis called as here economic feasibility study next technical feasibility study means so how we have the technical power how the level of technical support we have so technical feasibility risk assessment and the solutions what are the risks we need to face do we have and how to solve the risks and how to solve the problems so that is here risk assessment and give solutions to the risks facing by the company by using our technology so that is technical feasibility study next operational feasibility means operations means here processes conversion processes so conversion of raw materials into a finished goods into a finished goods so each and every operation like mission 1 mission 2 mission 3 mission 4 we have the different sections so these all sections what are the processes we have and how to improve the processes when making up our production right so that type of operational studies is called as here operational feasibility so controlling and improve the efficiencies and the services and the production plant production plant that is operational feasibility study next scheduling feasibility study already we know schedule means time table for each and every activity so for one week how many products we need to produce for one month how many products we need to produce for one for three months how many products we need to produce for one year how many products we need to produce so this time table is called as your schedule schedule so here timely estimations and optimizing the resources so based upon the time and by utilizing the resources pioms and we can make, we can make a, a time table or schedule for production right so these are the four types of feasibility studies we have next coming to the process so this is the process so first of all determine the scope or market or purpose and the directions first we need to set the targets we need to set the purpose to study the feasibility study right and then so these are simply 
you can set the vision or targets so based upon the purpose scope market directions based upon these all things we can set the vision vision means the target first of all we need to set the target based upon these factors first of all we need to fix the target and then conduct the research or survey connect the research or survey so analyze the recognizational markets and next projections projections means how we project these things so develop the cost projections for startups and operations and next to prepare the blueprint so blueprint means fully executed planning right is called as a blueprint formalize components for startups and operations so total business activities and order plans we need to draw in a chart that is called as a blueprint next finally prepare the reports so based upon the forum the market study and the business plan right so based upon this business plan and formal market study this market study means the customer customer attitude and customer uh, mindset so based upon the market conditions and the business plans based upon these two we can make a report that is financial uh, feasibility study report is the uh, process and these are the list for a uh, benefits of a feasibility study right benefits of a feasibility study right so look at here the first point point out the valid reasons to go ahead with the idea so through this feasibility study means possibility to do or not to do practicability or not practicability for achieving our targets right so this first point is here the valid reasons to go ahead with the idea so valid reasons unnai manam cheyachu avadu cheyadam cheyagoddu and japan so we can know the valid reasons to go ahead or not go ahead right this is the first benefit to know the valid reasons to move forward or not to move forward or not next uh, save the time and the money and the resources also so the feasibility study another best uh, benefit is here we can save our time we can save our money and we can save our resources by conducting feasibility study these are the another benefits <coughs> and the next advantage is a feasibility study is enhance the team focuses the next another uh, feasibility study uh, benefit advantage here helps in identification of a new opportunities so here identify we can find the new opportunities of our companies by conducting this study right next it helps to take uh, an informed go or no go decision already i told you here in this first point go ahead go forward or not go forward the same will here go or no go the decision we will, will take from this possibility study right and next term narrow down the business alternatives so narrow down the business alternatives just check the number of expansion activities of our business so through mergers acquisitions expansion of a new business next uh, production maximization sales maximize profit maximization next uh, establishment of a new branch uh, identify the new product innovative things these are the few things we have in the expansion of our business so these all expansions are also called as business alternatives so simply business alternatives means business expansion and its alternatives right next enhance the probability of success so improve the success levels we can have from the feasibility report and uh, another benefit is here helps to make clear future growth plans clear future growth plans 
of our company through this feasible study and another advantage here adds the value to funding the pitches so simply add uh, the values of funding so funding means so we can have additional funds through equity shares preferences for us expansion of our business next last thing the benefit of feasible study is here helps to make uh, realistic assumptions realistic assumptions we can make assumptions these assumptions are realistic so these are the benefits of feasible study right so simply feasible to study means the possibility to do the tasks or not to do the tasks so these are the types economic feasibility technical feasibility operation feasibility scheduling feasibility and this is the process and these are the few benefits right up to now we discussed the 16th in the name of economic and technical factors and we completed a feasibility study so up to now we completed uh, 16th in total length right so these are the questions and we discussed entrepreneurship skills functions self employment schemes financial services edp programs qualities of entrepreneurs edp uh, stages or phases and next startups startup means a new business starting startups new business establishment and the new business establishment process the next advantage disadvantage economic factors technical factors and feasibility types of processes and benefits right so these are the topics we discussed in these uh, 16 unit right and the next class we enter to 15 unit of our mst ims right uh, due to technical problem we you should uh, okay stay home stay safe thanks for listening guys be careful with corona and be well prepared for your exams okay thanks